Throughout Islam, the pursuit of knowledge was not simply admired, it was revered. Scholars travelled vast distances to study under a great teacher. By studying the phenomena of the physical world around him, man could perceive the underlying principles of God's creation and so fulfil the ultimate purpose of his existence. The Prophet has said, Verily, the men of knowledge are the inheritors of the Prophets. One of Islam's greatest contributions to the world was to preserve and build on the knowledge of past civilizations. Translated into Arabic, this would later be transmitted to the West. The ancients understood, for instance, the medicinal use of plant and herbal extracts, knowledge which the Arabs collected and codified as they did that of the animal kingdom. Their texts include references to creatures from the farthest reaches of the known world. Islamic astronomers also built on past knowledge and created the most precise observational instruments yet known. Ulug Beg, ruler and leading astronomer of Samarkand, built this observatory in the 15th century. There was an intense interest in the structure and motions of the heavens. Over the centuries, astronomical phenomena were meticulously observed and recorded. The modern heliocentric view of the solar system is largely derived from this enormous collection of Islamic data. Without access to Islamic knowledge, many of the crucial discoveries on which modern science rests might well have been postponed for generations. Even as late as the 18th century, the observatories at Delhi and Jaipur, built to 12th century Muslim designs, were producing records of unparalleled accuracy. Perhaps the greatest single achievement of Islamic thinkers was to democratize mathematics, to make it a tool that could be used by ordinary people. 